All right, so picking up right where we left off, if I want to go and I want to do a new app here, what I'm going to do is click on My Projects. Now you'll see I have my counter project that I just did right here. And it even tells you the date and time created, date modified, and if it's published. And no, we didn't publish it. Uh, and that would mean to the gallery. That wouldn't mean to the Google Play Store. They have a gallery here that you're welcome to go into and check out apps that other people have made. And you can actually publish yours to there as well. We're not going to focus on that in this app or in this tutorial, though. But now we're going to do start new project. We're going to do animals. Click OK. And you'll see it loads automatically. So now I'm going to change this screen one again, the title here, to animals. OK, scroll back up. Now I want to focus on my layout on this one. I'm actually going to do the table arrangement. I'm going to drag that over. And then in this table arrangement, I'm going to bring over four buttons. So one, two, three, four. All right. The table arrangement, I'm going to click on that quick. I'm going to make the width fill parent. And then I'm going to name these buttons accordingly. So this first button I'm going to rename as cat, button cat. Button two will be button dog. Button three will be button cow. And button four will be button pig. Now, that being said, I want to add pictures to these buttons. So I'm going to click them one at a time. And you're going to see down here in the preferences, there's something that says image. If I click on that, I can click upload file, choose file. And then I'm going to actually go to my five apps in an hour um, folder I have here, picks. And now I'm going to choose cat because that's the button we're on. So now it's going to upload it when I click OK. And you saw that said a little thing there. But now it is humongous. I don't want that. So I want to resize it just like I do with uh, everything else. So, oops. So here we're going to make the height. Let's make it 100 pixels. And let's make the width 100 pixels. OK. And we want to take away the text for button 1. Just get rid of it and leave it blank. And there's our cat. Now, button 2 is a dog. Well, I also have an image for the dog. So I want to choose file for that. Click OK. It uploads it. I want to change this to be the same size as the cat. So we're going to do 100. And we're going to do 100. Do the same thing for button 3, but button 3 is button cow. So I'm going to upload the cow image. Height's going to be 100. And width is going to be 100. We're going to get rid of text for button 3. Just get rid of that. We're going to do that for button 2 as well because I didn't get rid of that. Okay, and then button 4 is also called button pig. So we're going to upload our pig image. Go to image, go to upload file, choose file, pig, okay. Now these are just images I got uh, for some free stuff off Google. You type free animal images and you can find all different kinds of images. Uh, I just wanted to let you know where you could find those, and I'm going to actually include these in the resources section under this video. So 100 for the width and 100 for the height. For the height, rather. And we're going to get rid of text for button 4. Now, we got this set up, and you'll see that we have it all in the table here. You can resize them if you'd like to fill the whole thing. So if I wanted to click on cat, I don't have to keep it to 100. I can change it to 150 by 150. OK, do that there. Let's see if I wanted to do it here. I can do 150. Do 150. And you'll see how they change. And they're staying within that 
arrangement that I have set up. So then the cow, we're going to change that to 150. Sometimes you just change it to 100 or something like that just to get it in there, get all four pictures in, and then you can adjust them accordingly. That's a good practice you can do when you're designing something like this because if you have the pictures all their full size and all willy-nilly all over the place, it's just not going to look good and it's going to be very hard to design. So we changed everything to 150, and now we have our four buttons that are actually pictures. And if, if we click them right now, they don't do anything. But I'm going to show you how we can actually upload sounds and make them do that. Now, if we're going to have sounds, we also have to have a sound player. So now we're going to go under this menu here for media. You could use um, player right here, or you can use sound. I use player or sound, whichever I feel like grabbing. So I'm going to use sound in this one. And what this does is we'll actually play a sound. Now, if I want to go over here to the source, hit Upload File, Choose File, and then I want to go back here to my Sounds folder, Upload Cat, click OK. But then I want to go back and upload the next one. I'm going to upload all four of these right here at the same time, just to make sure we get them all. So we got cat.wave, uh, it did upload cow, so here's dog. And then we're going to upload pig. Now I don't want it to actually play a sound when I start the app, so I'm going to go back here and hit none. But I need it to upload all the sounds. That was the emulator crashing, I apologize. I need it to load all the sounds so that when I go for the when I go in the blocks editor, they're going to be available because they already have to be uploaded. So I have the sound player and I have all four buttons done. I have the title bar done. So now all we need to do is go to the blocks editor. So I will do that in the next video. I'll see you there.